HR issues can kill you. One complaint against your company can turn your world upside down. And you spend way too much time dealing with HR when you should be spending your time on making a profit. You should talk to Bambi. With Bambi, get access to your own dedicated U.S.-based HR manager starting at just $99 per month. They get to know you and your business while providing HR expertise and the personal touch you need and want. They're available by phone, email, and real-time chat, so onboarding and terminations run smoothly. Team members reach peak performance, and your business stays compliant with changing HR regulations. And with Bambi's HR Autopilot, you'll automate important HR practices like setting policies, training, and feedback. HR managers can easily cost 80 grand a year, but Bambi starts at $99 per month. Schedule your free conversation today to see how much Bambi can take off your plate. Go to Bambi.com right now and type in Accelerate under podcast when you sign up. It'll really help the show. Spelled BAM, B-E-E dot com. Bambi.com. Type in Accelerate. Okay, parachutes ready. Boy, the things I go through to get on all on rates as low as 0.99% APR for 60 months on new vehicles with PenFed. You are aware that you don't have to be a military member to save hundreds on your auto loan, aren't you? Anyone can join PenFed. As someone terrified of heights, I probably should have looked into that. Probably. Drop me off at the shore. PenFed Credit Union. Visit PenFed.org slash autos or call 1-800-247-5626. Advertised rates available through the PenFed car buying service. To receive any advertised product, you must become a member of PenFed, insured by NCUA. Welcome to Accelerate Your Business Growth with your host, Diane Helbig. Diane is a leading small business development and leadership coach, author, and speaker who is passionate about sharing valuable ideas, tips, and techniques with business professionals worldwide. Diane brings you the world's experts and gurus in all things business, whether it's sales, structure, social media, planning, or plateauing, guests bring their expertise and energy to each episode. When growing your business is your focus, Accelerate Your Business Growth is the show to listen to. Got a topic or guest suggestion? Let Diane know. The goal is to make sure you have the information you need to move your business forward. Thanks for joining us. Settle in and enjoy. Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me. Today's podcast is sponsored by Audible.com. You can get a free trial of Audible.com just by going to audibletrial.com slash businessgrowth. Go ahead and sign up for that trial and go exploring. I think you will enjoy the experience. The Accelerate Your Business Growth podcast continues to enjoy inclusion on lists of the best podcasts to listen to for sales, and marketing, leadership, Um, social media, all sorts of topics. And that's because of the guests. Uh, These are folks who have expertise in particular areas of business. And they join me for a conversation where they share that expertise with all of you. Today is no different. My guest today is Elias Cepeda. Elias is the founder and CEO of Need Clients Now, a national marketing agency. He realizes that you cannot have the approach that one strategy fits all, and that's why he believes in personalizing his strategy to fit your business. He is going to be sharing with us uh, his thoughts on sales funnels, generating clients quickly, which I think is something that uh, we would all like to do, uh, and, um, you know, maybe some ideas you hadn't quite thought of. So welcome to the podcast, Elias. Thanks so much. Hi, Diane. I'm really excited to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. Absolutely. Thrilled to have you here. So I just, I want to start with um, asking you to define for the listeners what a sales funnel is, please. 
Awesome. Uh, great question. A sales funnel and the word funnel just kind of, I feel like it just became popular, like maybe like over the past five years. So I think uh, that that's really interesting, but really all a sales funnel is, is, is the path uh, to conversion. It's the process. It's a step-by-step -step process that allows for you to attract your, your customer and take them to that journey. So they end up purchasing from you and not just through the purchase, but also to maybe at the, towards the end of the funnel to refer you business and to get continue purchasing from you. So what a sales funnel is that step-by-step -step process for strategizing uh, um, how to find your customer, how to convert your customer so that you actually have a path to conversion. And that's really all a sales funnel is. Got it. I really appreciate that uh, definition because I think people hear it and then they, they, they think complicated. So that <laughs> sounds uh, not complicated. Um, so Explain to the listeners now why um, having a process like that is, is so important, if you would. Uh, absolutely. I mean, it's really important because at the end of the day, if you're a business, you need customers, right? And you know, what I love about a sales funnel, and this is kind of why the name of our business is Need Clients Now, is because if you implement the right funnel for your business, uh, you really do have the power and the capacity to, to attract customers uh, and, and to actually convert those customers. So the reason why it's important is because a, a business need customers to survive and to thrive. And so uh, strategizing which type of sales funnel for your specific business is going to deliver the most amount of leads and prospects and then customers, it's, it's really the 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 lifeline of a business. And that's why it's really important that every business not only have, you know, one or two sales funnels, but to continue also uh, uh, strategizing and testing out other different funnels. And that's one of the common mistakes I see in small and medium sized businesses is they have really one path to sales conversion. They say, well, we have, uh, uh, you know, we have a webinar that we do, you know, w once a month and that's what gets us all our customers. And that works really well for us. And that's great. But in those instances, if you haven't tested out other different types of strategies and sales funnels for your business, you're really missing out on. And that's really what marketing is about is experimenting and testing things. And you never know uh, if you have that mindset of we only have this one process and this is what's worked and you haven't really tested out these other processes, you can be really missing out on a lot of money. So I always consult our clients and small businesses to not only just uh, uh, have one sales process, but continue testing um, other other uh, other sales funnels and other strategies that can that can generate you more business. Yeah, I, I think that is such an important point. I mean, as you're talking about that, I can think of people I know who, um, you know, get it in their head that there there's one way to market their business, and they don't necessarily explore other ways of of doing it, and then they get in a rut and business isn't growing the way that they would want it to. Is there, I mean, do you think that with, you know, this new world order and social media and all of those things that people don't know what's available to them or are, are they um, maybe, you know, uncomfortable with doing things like webinars or, you know, what, what do you think is going on there that they wouldn't want to explore other sorts of avenues? Gosh, there, there's so much that falls within that category. You know, let me give you an example. Sometimes we speak to uh, CEOs and business owners and they'll say, well, Facebook ads, you know, they don't work for my business. Instagram ads don't work for my business. And, uh, and, and as a marketer, you know, one of our process for, for our company and also many marketing companies is really auditing a business. Uh, and when you do an audit, you're able to really investigate what's working, what's not working. And it's, a, and it's an opportunity for you to demonstrate your expertise by saying, hey, like this is what you're doing incorrectly. This is what you could be doing. So when we audit a business and we speak to a business owner and they say something like, well, social media ads don't work. Once we actually roll our sleeves up and then begin to look at what they've done, we realize that they really, A, they didn't do it correctly or they didn't really optimize the ad. And there really is so much that goes into it. They, they launched maybe one ad. They didn't, maybe they did it themselves and they don't have that media buying expertise or maybe they use the wrong graphic or maybe they didn't uh, uh, lead that ad to a landing page. I mean, there's so many things that can go wrong when you're, when you're advertising. And that's just one example is really a lot of business owners 
they a they either don't give it the right amount of time or yeah. they don't do it correctly and there's so much that goes into it and what happens is then uh then they say things like well social media ads don't work for my business and the answer is well no the answer is it wasn't really done correctly because of this 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 and this reason and that's and that's the challenging part for a lot of these business owners that try to do some of these techniques on their own is that th there are a lot of pieces to the puzzle you know in a sales funnel social media ads that that's top of funnel that can be just one of the many things that really constitute the whole overall process of what a sales funnel is and so social media ads is it's the process of attracting customers through your social media advertisements. And so that's one of the things that we see is they, A, they don't do it correctly, they don't give it enough time, or maybe they launch an ad, but they're not really optimizing the ad. And that's something we see uh, a lot is they launch an ad, but they're not really optimizing that ad. They're not changing, they're not split testing, they're not testing the copy, they're not using different creatives. And I don't blame them. Business owners are busy, but that's yeah. that's what we see happen is they don't really give it the, the the right time and and process, so they just don't end up doing it correctly. Yeah, and then they get, as you said, then then they have the idea that it really doesn't work. So, what would you say are the most effective lead generation techniques out there today? Well, we love inbound. You know, we absolutely love inbound, and and we do internally. We do some outbound, and you know, my background when I first started the company, the first several years, we were doing a lot of outbound. But inbound's amazing when you have someone that is voluntarily uh, they see your ad and they're raising their hand and they say, "Hey, like I have this problem," and they visit your page, and that page convinces them that you are actually able to solve that problem. And then they're scheduling a call with you. That process is just so much better than, than, than cold calling or cold yeah. emailing. It's just so much of a better process when you have people that are actually really excited to speak with you. Uh, and so with that being said, we love social media advertisements, right? And that can mean LinkedIn. It can mean YouTube. It can mean Facebook, Instagram. I mean, there are so many social media platforms, but we love that process of really launching ads and, and having those people taking them through the journey of, of, and really targeting them and having them say, I want to schedule a call with you because I have this problem and I want to get more info. And that's the process that, that, that we feel is best for businesses. And I know it's scary for a lot of businesses that really haven't advertised. And when a business owner, depending on the phase that they're in, they hear the word advertisement, they automatically assume it's you know tens of thousands or thousands right. of dollars in it. And, and it really doesn't have to be like that. I mean. You, you can really spend 30, 40, 50 dollars a day if you'd like. And so the uh, social media ads is really not just for big businesses. Uh, you can allocate an ad and you can spend 20 dollars a day if you want, right? So we're talking minimal ad dollars and that really can make a difference in generating leads, speaking to those leads and then end up converting those leads. And that can make a difference for, for a small business. Okay, great. I'm gonna take a quick sponsor break and then I, I wanna pull on that. Um, a little bit. So hang tight. Uh, the Accelerate Your Business Growth podcast is happy to be sponsored by audible.com. You most likely know that audible.com has thousands of audiobook titles to choose from. Uh, you may not know all the other audio content that's there, like guided meditations, and audible originals, podcasts, so much more. Uh, and the cool thing is that you get all that in one place. So you don't have to go in and out of, of programs, and but you can access it on different um, devices, which is is nice as well. And it, you know, you just pick up right where you left off on whatever you were listening to. So we are offering you a free trial. You can go to audibletrial.com slash business growth, sign up for that trial, and then go exploring. Check out all of, well, pick your genre, <laughs> some of you are interested in, and check out the audiobook titles. Uh, I prefer to listen to business books for the most part, some inspirational uh, while I'm there. Uh, so I currently have The Four Agreements and Grit in my queue, getting ready to read them. Uh, read them, getting ready to listen to them. Uh, I find it so much easier to read a book when I'm listening to it instead of actually reading it. Uh, but there's also all that other great content. The guided meditations are great. The Audible originals are great. So get the trial, go exploring, check it out for yourself. 
uh, I think you're uh, really going to enjoy it. Today, we are speaking with Elias Cepeda about marketing, sales funnels, and generating clients quickly. Now, Elias, this is what I wanted to pull on a little bit. Um, I'm fascinated by this idea of generating clients quickly, and, and I think there is huge value in a company being able to predict their revenue every month. Um, but honestly, how does a company go about, you know, quickly generating those clients? Awesome. Great question. And that is really important because when it comes to, to marketing, some services, you know, using like SEO as an example, or even content marketing, they're all amazing and they all serve their purpose. But at the end of the day, some, some of these marketing initiatives uh, can really take a while to build engagement and to actually drive results. And that's why I love lead generation and sales funnels because you can actually get results really quickly. And so talking about the top of funnel, right? How are we, uh, how are we finding uh, these prospects and how are we generating that lead? And I mentioned social media ads, right? That's, that's, right. that's one of the process. And, you know, when referring to need clients now, if you launch an ad, you know, it may take a couple hours, maybe 24 hours to actually get that ad approved, depending on the platform, you can actually start generating leads the same day. You know, we, 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 when we launch ads, we get leads the same day. Sometimes it may take a day, uh, um, you know, but really that's pretty quick to, to launch an ad, right? And, and to actually get that contact information, uh, that can happen very quickly. So if we're talking about needing clients now, you can launch an ad and then maybe you need to schedule a call and depending on your schedule, but you can really start converting clients within a week or two, depending on the hmm. type of strategy, depending on the product that you sell or the service that you sell, depending on the price point, depending on a lot of different factors, but really at the end of the day, launching an ad, getting a contact info and having a, 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 some sort of conversation can happen in, in the span of, of a couple of weeks. So that's what we refer to need, needing clients now is, uh, you know, you don't have to wait months and months to, to actually, you know, start showing up on, 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 on websites or getting your content, uh, getting engagement on your content. You can actually start having conversations within a matter of days or weeks. Okay, great. I, I appreciate that. And that, that really is, you know, what marketing is, is, or lead generation really is about. It's about really getting in front of your target audience so that, the, you know, the ones in there who have a need find out about you and, you know, we'll reach out to learn more about whatever's in that, that ad. Exactly. Hmm. Okay. Now, what about following up with past leads or you know past inquiries? Is there a, a strategy, a, you know, a process for that kind of thing? Absolutely, that's a great question. You'd be surprised, Dan, how many companies um, still are not operating using a CRM or they're still not using mm -hmm. automation. And when it comes to follow up, automation is the name of the game. So you don't you, you don't need to follow up with these prospects and with these leads one by one. Uh, you should in business you should have a CRM so you keep all your contacts organized and you're able to assess, you know, the content that they viewed when they came in, the history of that lead, and so forth. But uh, the name of the game is automation. And when you are are sending uh, these prospects the right type of content, we call those nurture sequences. That's what's going to make a difference. And what our nurture sequence is, is a series of, of messages. And, and we like to focus kind of an omni-channel approach. When we have a lead, we like to uh, um, not only send emails, but we also send text messages. We can also send video emails. We can also send ringless voicemails. And that's really important to not just focus on one channels to have that omni-channel approach because some people they don't read their emails or they they don't mm -hmm. like uh you know they're engaging with emails and so having different touch points is really important but again the name of the game and the follow-up is is having things automated and so when you send the right types of messages and what i'm referring to is uh, uh you know these are well-written messages that continue nurturing and keeping your prospects engaged and excited about taking that next step with you whether it's to schedule a call or is it to visit 
a, a, a sales page or a product page, whatever that process is, depending on your business model and depending on the products and services that you sell, the key is to automate those messages. And the key is to have the right type of message so that you're seen as an invited guest versus being a pest, right? So they have to be crafted, written well, and they have to nurture and keep these prospects excited about taking that next step with you. Okay, well, that sounds like um, like nurturing sounds like not selling. Is that fair? Correct. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And and that's the difference between a pest and a and an invited yeah. guest, right? <laughs> if you're just selling them, nobody likes to be sold to. No, uh, they don't like to be sold to. So if you're sending messages that say, "Hey, you know, I'm following up with you," or "Hey, you know, uh, touching base with you again," right? Those are those are the not so fun messages that you receive. And again, the key is writing the right types of messages that keep that keep these prospects nurtured and keep them excited. So you can, some examples of that, you know, we share additional information. We, we love storytelling, telling a specific story. We love sharing testimonials, uh, uh, right? And the key is to write that, that right type of message that, that, that is keeping them engaged and excited about taking that next step. Yeah, right. So when they're ready, they feel exactly. good about it. Yeah, yeah, I exactly. get that. Yeah. Wow. This is really interesting, Elias. I, I think um, uh, we hear a lot about sales funnels and, and lead generation, but I, I feel like um, it's for a lot of people, it's still one of those things that <clears throat> they're a little unsure about. So I appreciate you coming here and explaining this in a way that I think I mean, for me is understandable. So I'm imagining it is for the <laughs> listeners as well. And, and, and I'm glad that we talked about um, the resistance, you know, that, that a lot of times what is behind the, the resistance to actually participate, because I think that's also a really important aspect of all of this. Um, so, so thank you so much for being here. Will you uh, tell the listeners, you know, how they can find you and, and what you've got going on over there. Absolutely. Thanks so much, uh, Diane. Uh, my website is www.needclientsnow. So you can visit our website. Uh, and then you can find me on Instagram and Facebook just by searching Elias Zapata. My Instagram handle is Elias underscore Zapata. That's E-L-I-A-S underscore Z-E-P-E-D-A. Uh, and if you have any questions or if you're a business and you know that you uh, you know what a sales funnel is and you know you need one, but you haven't had a chance to implement it, I'd be happy to walk you through that process and also auditing your, your, your current business. I'd be happy to providing as much value as possible and giving you that complimentary marketing audit. Wow, that could be really valuable. Absolutely. Lots of companies, they charge for that and, and yeah. we don't. And it's, and it's a way for us to provide as much value. And at the end of the day, that's what's most important is helping businesses and, um, you know, not audit is great. So I'm happy to yeah. offer that to any of the listeners here and, and helping you pinpoint what sales funnel is best for your business and how to go about it. Oh, well, that, that is really great. L listeners, seriously, take them up on that because there's nothing like being informed, right? What do they say? Knowledge is power and finding out where you stand is <laughs> really great for then being able to get help and figure out what it is you could be doing that would be having more of an immediate impact and immediate, you know, quick, I'll say. So uh, thank you so much. I'd also like to thank our sponsor, audible.com. Uh, head over to audibletrial.com slash business growth, sign up for the free trial and go exploring, check out the content, enjoy, uh, you know, things that maybe you didn't realize were there. They're always adding new content and new categories. So it's a great place to go exploring and check out what is there for your listening pleasure. As always, continue to prosper and be curious. And until we meet again on another episode of Accelerate Your Business Growth, goodbye and good day. Me, 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 but also you. <laughs> the Pharaoh fast forwards his favorite foreign film, Pip, 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 Powder Donut. <clears throat> okay, what's my line? Uh, the only line I see here on the script is get options based on your budget with the Name Your Price tool from Progressive. 
Oh man, that's a tongue twister, huh? I'm sorry, I'm gonna need a few more minutes. <clears throat> bulbous Walrus, the Bulbous Walrus. The name your price tool, only from Progressive. The owl ran afoul of the comatose Coxswain. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates price and coverage match limited by state law. Are you tired of seeing your teen or young adult struggle on a path that clearly isn't the right fit? Is your teenager confused about which direction to take after high school? The future of work is changing rapidly, and our kids need to know all of the options available after high school so they're empowered to make the choice that is best for them. In each episode, we explore the latest trends that are shaping the opportunities of today and tomorrow. I'm your host, Betsy Jewell, and this is the High School Hamster Wheel Podcast. 